Hi and welcome to Another Gamers. The game today we're going to be playing is FDL Faster Than Light. This is my new Let's Play series as I really love this game and I want to share it with everybody. Okay, let's get started then. Now, FDL has been described as a space trading RPG roguelike and it does draw a lot on the traditional roguelike games. Uh, it's got some really great atmosphere to it. There's a whole bunch of different ships that you can play. As you can see, I've locked, unlocked a few of them so far. Uh, I've not managed to unlock any of the different layout types yet. And you've got also loads of different bits and features in this. You've got different characters, races. Uh, you see just four out of the many races in here. Each of the races get uh, various advantages. So this one uh, is in faster, more damage in combat, but slow to repair. This race... Combat damage is hard, but they repair twice as fast. These got more hit points, but they're slow. And these guys are just kind of uh, general rounders. You got different types of weapons, and you got different ship ship power. So you've got to power this all, and you will just start showing as we go along. We're going to start off with the basic ship, and the basic ship you start off with three human crew. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my crew organized. You need one pilot, so you've got someone who can actually move, maneuver the ship. And then you've got, I've got a guy stationed in the shield and a guy stationed in the weapon area. Now this is important because you can gain a little bonuses here. Shields recharge slightly faster and weapons will recharge slightly faster. Also if I have somebody in the engine compartment, I'll be a little bit more maneuverable. Okay, so what we're going to do is the FTL drive, it's like kind of the name of the game. That's right here. When you're all powered up, you can jump to the air, next area. And this is kind of where we start to actually see the game. And we've got a little overhead map just showing all the locations that we can get to. We've got to get to here. We're being chased by the rebels. Ooh. And straight in with some quite dangerous sector. We're having to take part in a fight above a sun which means every so often the solar flare is going to happen it's just going to cause fires in our ship and we've also got to defeat this uh, rebel ship so what we can do is we're going to click on each of these actually one of the things we're going to do turn the sound volume down a little that's a bit better so we're providing power to our weapons so we just need to let these boost up. As you see, this is how long it's going to take. It's something like about 11 seconds and 13 seconds. We've got no spare power. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a bit of power out of our med bay. And we're going to shove it into the engines. Hopefully it means it's a little harder for us to be hit. Now we just got hit with a uh, burst weapon. We're going to dump in the Artemis missile against their weaponry. No, we're going to dump it against their shields, and then we're going to use the burst weapon um, against their weapon array. So as you can see, I've hit them, and uh, caused quite a bit of uh, damage. Now, we can accept their offer of surrender. It's one fuel, one missile, and seven scrap. That's very, very low. So we're going to refuse and not take that. Now, because their shields are now inoperable, and their weapons system is damaged. I'm going to carry on just targeting the weapon system and not use the missile anymore. Now there's the solar flare just kicking off. Now because I've got door control, I'm going to open up these doors and I'm literally just going to depressurize my ship. Going to have no air in there. And there we go. I've managed to destroy their ship, cause enough hull damage. Now where they've been hitting, oh, we've got missiles, drones, and a little bit more scrap. Now you see where those, where we were being hit, as you can see, these areas have turned red. That means they're damaged. I'm just going to get out of there for a second. We can't jump yet. We're still waiting for jump. There we go. We're just going to get straight out of there so we don't take another solar hit. All right, we're going to, we just, there was a rebel up there. We decided we're going to commandeer all their equipment. They refused to give in, so we're going to have to fight this. Now, I'm still repairing the oxygen system because if we don't, we're just going to suffocate in the ship. That is a legitimate way of actually killing your opponents. You suffocate them. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to target the missiles against their shield system and their burst fire against their weapon system. 
Now, the reason why I do this is the Sh Artemis missile can bypass shields. That means when I target uh, the sh shield generator, it'll just slip straight through the shield system and cause damage against it, which will hopefully drop the shield, which means my burst laser can cause more damage if more effectively. Now, there we go. We just hit their shield generator. It's out. So the, um, nothing's going to be targeting. Now, I'm, this is the drone. That's controlled by this section, the drone control. Nothing much I can really do about that at the moment because I've got a limited amount of weapons and I don't want to keep using all my um, missiles because you only get a limited amount. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I've got not much else to do, I'm going to repair the this. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him over to do this. Ah, the O2 section has been dropped again. So to deal with fire, I'm going to depressurize the whole area. And as you can see, I did slap in some extra damage over here. Now the shields is just stopping me from getting killed. And there we go. Got some scrap. That wasn't actually that good. Oh, we need to depressurize that area as well. We've taken a fair bit of damage. Now what we really need to do is start improving our shields. Ah, right, finally, all of that's uh, been done, but we now need to try and reoxygenate that area. Because if we don't, we're going to suffocate. And you can suffocate really quite quickly. So, as you can see, as I go in, because I've got the air pressure up a bit, it's not suffocating. But it's, you get a lot of flashing lights all over the place. Your shields can start flashing, hulls start flashing, FTL will start flashing. And it just kind of gives you warnings. There we go, we've got the O2 systems now up and running. Everything's now back up and running. What we're going to do though is we're going to get these two a little bit of health. Just going to send them off to medbay and get them all back up and running and we don't really want to lose anybody now as you can see as we're traveling through it doesn't look like anything much is happening at the moment but every time we make a jump the rebel fleet gets closer and closer so this kind of forces how long we can stay in a particular area for now over here we've got um hmm, this might be worth just using the beam weapon because again, we've got a limited number of missiles and I can't just keep using missiles for every single encounter or else I'll eventually run out. Did take a bit of a hit there. Now I don't want to get hit by another round of bursts, so I am going to use the missiles. Just going to drop his um, weapon system and then I'm going to target his shield system. And as you can see, we keep taking too much damage through our shields because we've only got one point shielding at the moment. So I am going to try and improve that as the next thing. Now, one of the reasons why I keep having to target after every single fight is because I haven't switched on the auto fire yet. Click on that and that means it'll just keep continually firing at the last location that you targeted. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. Ah, now you see. This is the Rebels, so next time they're going to be up to this and then every single planet in that area encompassed by it, if you're inside that circle, you're going to have to fight a Rebel. But we don't really want that now. This has got a heavy cannon and also a beam. Could maybe get away with it, but uh, it's unlikely. Um, what I am going to try and do is, because that beam takes quite a while to power up, my shield should be able to get up. There we go, I managed to cut off most of his beam. So it only causes a single point of damage. So long as these beams are only effective if shields are down. So if you can keep at least some shields up at all time, you can just render their beam weapons completely inoperable. And if you've got something only armed with beam weapons, you're laughing, because there's just absolutely nothing they can do. And the AI could probably do with a little tweak just to say, if you've only got beam weapons and your opponent's got shields, just run away. Because it's, it's a lost fight. Right, so we've almost taken down the ship. And as you can see, I'm not bothering to use uh, one of the missiles, because I've only got a limited number. 
And also, during the middle of the fight, your FTL drives start spooling up, so... If you find that it's like the fight's too bad for you, you can escape. Now, this is quite good. We've got three fuel, two missiles, and a load of scrap. Now, with all that scrap, I can buy... Is it 2040? I can buy two lots of shield and one lot of power. And then I could maybe just afford to power up a second shield. But really, we'll have to drop the oxygen, and I don't want to do that. Oh, and here we go. We just went to an area, and we just got free stuff. That does happen. So what we're going to do is going to carry on. I hope we keep getting some free stuff. Oh, and there we go. We got some more free stuff. This beam just causes fire damage. Now, what we're going to do, we've just got time, so we're going to slip off, go to that store, because you never know what we can find there. Long-range scanners. That's kind of important. It's going to cost us getting some shields for the time being. Not going to be using drones, so I'm going to sell that. Now, the fire beam could be quite handy. Uh, we want to keep, but we're going to keep that because we might be able to make use of that beam weapon. We've done a load of repairing. We need to try and keep that rest of that stuff. So we're going to head off to the distress. Now that's usually good because we can normally get to like pick up a double payment. Oh, and we actually are going to be leading some people out of here. Now, because we've got the long-range sensors, we can actually see some of the things coming up. So we know over here we're going to have to deal with a possible shipping counter, which normally means a fight. But in this sense, it's actually quite good. Because here, we kind of want to get into the fights, because the fights will lead us to getting scrap, or it will lead to an encounter where people just give us stuff. Now, that is an ion beam, which is not nice. It kind of uh, hits your shielding and cause it to be temporarily disabled. Now, not that it really matters too much because that missile system bypasses shields. So it doesn't matter if they drop my shields or not, it's a kind of irrelevant. But in the meantime, we're just gonna repair up the shields. Now, because there wasn't anybody needing our help, we don't get a double load of it. Now we're just gonna hop straight to the exit. I really should have waited until the shields were up and running. Uh, we don't have an, this is sometimes you get the opportunity to sell equipment that you've got because we don't have any droids, drones and we're not making use of them. I could sell them off, but can't at the moment. Now we don't have time to get anywhere else. Next time, the rebels be upon us, and we don't, can't keep fighting rebels, so we're just going to hop over to the next sector. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Engi controlled sector. We'll get to meet a particular race in this sector. So it's quite useful because some of the requirements to unlock stuff does mean that you have to go find them. So I am going to head over there and see what we can find. So before we move on, I'm just going to give our guy a little bit of quick healing. Right, so he's all healed up. Now as you can see, because we've got all of this, we've got loads of different areas we can go to. We've got, we'll go to the quest area first. I don't want to spend too long. I could like try for everything, but it could just get a little bit too messy. Oh, burst laser three. That's has to be got. We are not good. These are so rare. We're not going to find another chance to get one of these. So I'm going to sell that off. And I'm going to buy the burst laser three. And that's kind of all we can do uh, we'll buy some fuel because I have on far too many occasion got stuck out in deep space just because I ran out of fuel now what I did try there was to search a ship it wasn't successful there's no point going to the store because we just don't have the money to spare we can't repair our hull we can't really do anything now in this case, it's just letting us know that the rebel ship is trying to escape. Now, what we need to do is we need to take down their engine system, and also I desperately want to take down their weapon system. This is a beam, and that's a missile system, so if we don't take that missile down, it's going to hit through us, possibly take out our shield system. And we've just disabled their weapon, 
so they're not going to be able to shoot at us so we can kind of sit back because that's going to cause no additional damage so we can just kind of take this uh, a little bit of our leisure I also need to make sure I switch the oxygen back on just repairing the engines because it'd be nice not to take damage and because it's nice we should hopefully get it off no, it wasn't quite in time now we can't let them escape so I'm gonna fire off that missile against their shields uh, sorry their engine as you can see that beam weapon because our shields are gone down just keeps causing damage that's one of the nasty things about beams now unfortunately there's not much else we can really do because we can't go until uh, the pilot system was repaired and I don't want to move until I get that repaired so until my shields are fully operational we're just kind of sitting here right so now I've gone over here as you can see there's loads of people turning up now we could just jump off straight to the distress signal probably going to because I want to explore over here more we might find another store we might get access to some other bits and pieces but we kind of no, I'm not going to deal with giant space spiders. Virtually all the time, I lose crew on it. It's a really a potluck, but I swear, like, two times out of three, I'll lose everyone. Um, right, there's a young mantis uh, warrior, child in the temple, on the best sanctuary from the Engi. Oh, we're going to offer up. This is a potential crew member we're giving up, but we're going to see what reward we can get off them. Ah, it was a trap. So what we're going to try and do is we've got to deal with this. Um, they've got, mm, we need to take out their weapon systems, that's kind of the important thing here, because of that beam weapon. And in the meantime, we're going to send our crew to deal with that. Now hopefully our shield just came up in time. Aisha is getting badly injured, so we've got to pull them out, get them over to the med bay. Now hopefully we'll be able to kill the intruder before anything else happens. Yes, we just managed to get that, so I'm going to drop the auction. We need to keep these people healthy. Right, that is it. We don't need to now keep firing the Artemis missile everywhere. We can now just kind of take them out at our leisure, because that is a defensive uh, system. So we just can take our time, send people back to the correct areas, and we can course keep the oxygen going and we go we managed to take out the angry scam unfortunately while well, we took quite a hit we didn't die now this next jump we're probably going to need to repair up yeah there's loads of stuff that we could do but we need to repair up and we need to get fuel if we don't we're kind of in trouble but what we will do is going to head straight off and try and find another ship because ship normally means that we can end up with more bounties now what we do need to do is we do need to get um our shielding up quite rapidly because it's kind of hurting us not having any shields here at the moment because we've got the original one but you kind of need at least minimum of two now we got lucky there and we didn't get hit by the missile so it's kind of saved us and because we knocked out their weapons we're just going to focus on their shields take them down yeah, their weapon system came back on now they haven't only switched on that little weapon and because they swapped it's they've now got to rebuild up power up the weapon all over from the beginning so they didn't actually manage to get a second cross off so we get the reward for defeating that ship and also we can get sometimes a second set of reward now it didn't happen so what we'll now do is we're going to do a little bit of exploring we got time we need to try and find some more fuel oh there we go some free stuff we've got time to do a couple more before we have to go out of the system we are running a bit low on their fuel 
Uh, we're gonna accept their sur no, we're gonna explain that are friendly, and they'll give us some stuff for being nice to them. Thankfully, it was some fuel and some scrap. We don't need to spend any of this. Sometimes you can just find a repair station that is a little bit cheaper than just the standard place. Well, we're going to explore the asteroid field. Okay, we lost uh, lost out there. Right, we're going to go to the Engi homeworlds rather than their colony system. We're just going to keep on our exploration. Now we're going to head deep in. Again, we, if we target some of these, we might have a chance to actually fight something. Now, we should kind of be okay if we can keep our shields up. Because that's a beam weapon, that's a beam weapon. But we've only got a single... We've only got a single shield, so we're kind of a bit stuck here. So we need to try and hit probably the, this. Yeah, you can see there, just whack. We're going to take a massive amount of damage here. In actual fact, I think we're going to die. And this is not uncommon for this game. Yep, just too many systems, there's too much beam technology, and we got fires breaking out, we got no shields. We're just getting hit. If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. We may, may just pull out of this. I don't know. All kind of depends on the shielding now. Uh, med bay is on fire. You can see that symbol, but we can't open the door. So we're going to have to go over here and try and get this repaired. Because we need to desperately open up the doors. You know what? We're just going to accept that because it gets the fight over and done with. And we desperately need to get all of this repaired. Right, we can now open up these doors. That was an absolute disaster. But we did survive, which I'm quite happy about. Normally you'll... In that situation, normally I'd end up dead. So now we've got the internal security cameras working. We can actually see where everything's going bad. Um, no, they're going to suffocate there. Still might suffocate anyway. We need to get oxygen up and running. But we also need medbay up and running. <laughs> Uh, oxygen's going to be coming in so they're not going to suffocate but I need to get the health up so as you can see uh, Isha was uh, suffering there from the lack of oxygen because all the oxygen was consumed in this area now it is going back up right so everybody's now got some health we can turn this off put on this and then everybody can not die and we're screwed. We're going to invest in some shields. And that is it. We desperately need those shields. Not that it would have made a massive amount of difference, but... Um, get everybody to the right areas. There we go. Okay, so we got some shielding, so we can maybe survive the next encounter. So we're going to actually avoid fights for the time being. We're going to see what we can do. We need to get to a store because we need to get some repairs done, and we've got to get some fuel because we don't. We are dead. And it's kind of a mix between the two. So that's about all we can do. We've got nothing. We've got actually we've got a defense drone that we can sell. So if we go to the equipment, sorry, go to the store and then sell and we'll sell that. It's just gonna mean we can get hopefully some more fuel. 
Now we'll get the one fuel and then we'll fix up everything else that we can. Right, that means we're not going to die horribly. So now we'll go through and we'll see how well we can do. We do need more power though. No, we're just going to accept the bribe. We're going to try and minimise our damage for the moment. Now there's a distress signal. We might be able to pick up a double reward here. Oh, we're going to give them fuel. We can barely deal with it, but we can go back to the other store and buy some fuel. And they gave us quite a amount, large amount of scrap. Though we tried to disable, uh, tried to extract everything that we could from that ship, but we didn't get anything useful. All that we actually got was uh, getting into a fight. Now, hopefully, this shield should. The increased shield should uh, keep us safe. Ah, oh, now that beam weapon bypasses shields. Excellent. So we just kind of need to just keep on top of doing damage here and keep damaging and targeting their weapon systems. And also just try and bring down their shields. It does mean using a lot of missiles, but it's kind of needed. Now, if we can, we actually want to move over to the Burst Laser 3. It's going to be a lot more useful for us. When we finally get up and going, this is going to be a very, very powerful ship. When and if we get going. Right, we're going to hop over to that store. We need to get this fuel, or if we don't, we are toast. So, spend it all on fuel. Uh, we may as well just fully repair our ship. And then we're going to save what else we've got because we might need it. Now we're going to go take that slightly longer route. Again, we use up more fuel. Oh look, there you go. Buy a bucket load of fuel. We'll go to the store. New store that we just found because we desperately need to buy fuel. There are nice things we're having to leave behind, but... Quite frankly, fuel's needed. You just can't get yourself stranded. Ah, we didn't get any free stuff. Right, we're just going to make it to the exit, get out of here, move on. And we're going to sell as many drone stuff for scrap, because we don't really use the drones now. We're going to head for the rock control center sector. So... Um, it's going to take us more in the middle. So we've got a little bit more control over where we go because the hostile systems are harder to get through than the friendly systems. Now that's over an asteroid field, so we really kind of want to avoid that. We're still looking to try and improve our weapon systems. So our next lot of money is going to go into improving the weapon system so we can use the Burst 3 lasers take longer but they're just going to be way more effective now that is a very powerful missile system they've got on so we just need to kind of hit their weapon system as hard as possible as quickly as possible because we can't really afford to keep taking that damage i know we should take down the shields but if we can disable that weapon there we go we can disable that weapon we can keep up with everything else and we'll keep the missile ready just so if we need to send a quick shot but we're not actually going to use it because we can slowly just whittle that down their shields and as you can see they repair back up so I fire that off just kind of keep that weapon system down and then just we slowly focus on their shields just trying to weaken them bring them down it should mean that we minimise our total cost and expenditure because that one laser they've got just can't do anything against us. And if nothing else, we do eventually take them down anyway because we keep causing hull damage. And they're doing really terrible shots today. I mean, jeez, come on, guys. This giant ship in space. Look, what, look, they're like three, four inches away from you? Uh, we're going to accept that. There's three fuel. 
Now, when somebody offers that much fuel, it's kind of worth it because you can travel around. And seriously, I've just having uh, died so many times because of lack of fuel. You kind of get you wanting to keep plenty of fuel on you. Because there are times where you just cannot get access to fuel. Now this is going to hurt. This is oh wow, we got lucky. We're still going to keep targeting the weapon systems because it's just all right. There we go. Now we've got the weapon down. Now we can focus on their shields. Just as long as that main missile, because that's the one that really causes damage. That's a burst laser. We can probably get away without. Hmm. Well, I'll try for an attack, but obviously that did not work. No. Nope. Alright, we're just gonna keep going on their shields again. I'm gonna pump everything. As you can see, just by using like these missiles, we're just going through them so quickly. And we've only got two left, so we need to try and find some way that we can actually get some more missiles. And this is the problem. You end up having to manage so many different resources in this game just to try and stay alive. And again... Ouch. You see, that's the weapon system's just gone down. And that's really bad because there's nothing that we can do until we get the weapon systems back up on operational. So the first thing we're going to be able to do is have the shield system. Uh, this. So we need to target their weapon system. So the engine has got, gone down, which means we've got, we've got no ability to evade whatsoever. we really got to hope that targets somewhere else. Yep, the hit just over there. So that hit us in the same place. We'll take that. We need the missiles. Right, well, we can get healing. So we're going to send you over to heal, and we're just going to fix up our weapon uh, engine system. See, there's a lot of management here. We've got, uh, in the middle of fights, we're trying to decide, are we going to use too many missiles? Where are we going to put our scrap? There's a lot of things that you got to consider. I mean, we've got an awesome weapon. I did put an awful lot of money into this. And if we can stay alive, we're going to have a killer weapon. And that is just, that is a ridiculous, ridiculous weapon. But we've got to stay alive long enough to be able to use it. Now, we do now start to have enough scrap that we can actually start doing some things. One of them is increase our weapon system, and the other one is that. So what we can now actually do is, if we say drop this, we can actually power up this burst weapon. Now, we are going to go do one of the encounters first, because it's going to give us an opportunity to just get some more resources. Now what we got, they've got beam, all of these. <sighs> now we've got to think about this, we've got two missiles. Probably worth sticking with the burst, because that burst 3 does take a while to load, and until we get another skill level increase, it is not going to be that easy to fire it off. Now that's got one of their beams out of the way. Now this is just going to teleport stuff in through our shields. Not much we can do about that. We're going to try and damage their shield system. Now we've got some extra damage on their shield system. Next burst laser load that we do, we're going to swap over to the other burst laser. All right, there we go. Now we turn that one off, drop our weapons, and we now charge up this bigger one. Now, because the guy just literally got a skill increase, means it's going to take less time to power up. And then we're just going to pound everything into that shield system and bring it down. And you can see loads of fire. That was really terrible shooting, considering. Now, we just, that little Bing just said that we can now FTL, but we don't need to. And you see the little doors opening and closing as everybody's trying to 
uh, repair all the systems. Now that weapon system must have been heavily, heavily damaged. Now they've only just started to get it repaired now. now hopefully, this time round we'll get... There we go, that was a lot better. We managed to land every single... get a hit. Right. So that's managed to get that up and running. Now we're going to go do this distress signal. We're going to take the risk. Now it did pick up as a massive load of scrap. It's going to be very, very useful. No, we're going to fight. Now we're not going to use this, we're going to switch back to these. Because they're going to hit their... going to do it this way. Missile in there. Going to try and use the missile to drop their shields, and we're going to hit them elsewhere. And then we need to deal with these mantises because they're going to cause some serious damage. Now, we're not going to be that effective. Now, that's just taken out that, so uh, he's going to have to survive for a while. I'm going to also use that little spare power we've got. Just try and heal people. The auction system is down. Oh, ow. That's our weapons. Uh, that's our engines down. We've got no maneuverability now whatsoever. Now the burst lasers just come out. Now, while that missile, we need. We need. To stop them from damaging our weapon system. Yeah. So we just need to cycle people in and out here as fast as possible. Now we've got a breach over here. Also got a fire, we got oxygen de being depleted. It's just a nightmare at the moment. So we've got to try and vent this whole area around. Heal people up because we've got nothing at the moment. And this is just going from bad to worse. At least our shields are operational. Right. Now, we're going to need everybody in to repair the weapon system. So if we don't get that weapon system repaired, we've got nothing to shoot back with. Now we can get that burst laser out, so we're going to target. We need to get everybody back healing, and then the very next thing we need to do is try and get that oxygen up and running, or else we're dead. And whilst you're doing that, we're going to try and repair this. Try and flush out anything we can. There's one person dead. There's two people dead. I think we're not going to make it. I think we'll, I think we're just about to lose. The FTL is not going to boost up fast enough because we need to repair that. Ship blown up. Fortunately, that was a lot of points we spent early in getting that burst laser, which unfortunately probably hindered us for the rest of the game. But it was one of those things, it was a risk. We get a great weapon. It was just unfortunately never paid off. Okay, so that's the first run we've got recorded of trying to complete FTL. It's a brilliant little game. I'm going to keep coming back to this. So hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.